Hey guys, how's it going? This video is going to be showing you how to make this whole background for your outro and it will result in looking like this, which I'm sure you've seen before. It has your subscribe, it has videos that you could change to be suited towards the viewer or one that you want to promote more. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to file, new, we're going to enter in the dimensions 1920 by 1080 which is what you should be recording your videos in and we're going to name it outro now click create now your canvas is blank and we can get started first we're going to start out by getting a picture you want to be the background i already have mine and i'm going to put it you want to drag it over to it from your desktop or wherever you have the file located and it pops up right here now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make my logo real quick and if you already have yours you could bring it into this or if you don't want to make one that's totally fine all right so i got my logo right here i just made it real quick and you can move it around anywhere you want we're going to put it right up here and make sure it's in the center so if you have your logo put it like right here now we're going to add the text so go to your text tool on the left click it Go over to your canvas and click anywhere. Now you can type your name. You want to make the size smaller by typing in 100. And if that's not big enough, I'm just going to use the scroll wheel. I'm going to type Cambit Creates. So now you got your name. What I'm going to do is just space it out more so I can move it in between by using the move tool. So it's kind of too close. I'm going to do one more space and move it like this. It looks pretty good. I, I can make it smaller. I want it to be, I want my logo to stand out more like that. Now let's do some more spaces. You could either do the space thing, which is kind of cheap, or you could uh, make them separate text layers where you could just move them individually, but I'm just gonna do it like this Because why not? There you go Make sure you have the font you want I chose C-A-N-D-A-L Not sure how to pronounce that like candle looks like but I don't know if that's true. Okay, now we're gonna make the text look a little nicer I'm going to double click on the layer of my text Go over to color overlay check that box and click the color overlay box and move this over so now it's white and i'm just going to stick with that for now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go over here to the shape tool i'm going to go over to rectangle by either dragging left click or right clicking on it i'm going to click rectangle i'm going to move it up here and drag it out all the way to where it's the right length so it's kind of like um, like a little bar. And now, right now, it's over it because the layer is on the top. So we're going to hold left click and drag it down below the text layer and below the logo. And you can adjust it the way you'd like. I'm going to do like that. So there you go. It looks pretty good so far, but we're going to change it to black by double clicking on the layer. Going to color overlay clicking the color box and moving it to black and then changing the opacity on it by clicking this drop down arrow and moving it down whatever you like I'll do 26 and there you go see it's already looking good now I'm going to add the subscribe which is works the same way I'll just duplicate this layer by click right click on it and then duplicate now I'm gonna move it down Click my text tool, highlight it, and type subscribe. It's a little too big, so I'm going to make that a little smaller by clicking the drop down arrow up here and moving it down a little bit. Then I'm going to click the check mark and move it to the center. Now I want another box, so I'm just going to copy the box I already have. Oops, that's the wrong one. Copy the box I already have and just Click edit, retransform so I can adjust the size of it. I'm set up. Um, all right. 
until you get that right. Looks good. And now that should be it. Unless you guys want to add more things to it. I think this is pretty simple and clean. So we're going to export it now by going up to file, export as, and then we'll do JPEG. Make sure the quality is all the way up to 100% and then just hit save. Now you're going to want to go into your editing software and bring in the picture from your downloads. Bring mine out. Drag it onto here. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 15. So now you can see it on your timeline. It should work for everyone. Uh, I would say around 10 seconds is like the maximum we're going to want to make your outro. So I'm going to move that over to 10. And if this is all you want, you don't want any sound, which I don't know why you wouldn't. And you could just export it. But if you want to add sound, drag in the sound. Put it right below it. And then you're just going to want to crop this end part so it doesn't go on forever. All right, so you just want to go to your video manager and videos. This is in Creator Studio, the classic version. And you just want to go over to uh, end screen. And at the very end, wherever you want it, you can add different elements. Like I started mine about right here. So by adding element, you can add uh, subscribe, which is this, and then you can add videos, which I did by just clicking the add videos and you can make it best for viewer, most recent upload, choose video or playlist and just hit save. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching guys.